No. I was thinking. No, I don't think that people understand how the concept of reaping what you sow or karma or judgment from the most high or whatever you want to call it works. What you sow is what you reap. That's just how it works. You can't sow an apple and expect to get anything else. You know? Matter of fact, if you sow grapes, they're going to grow on the vine just like their ancestor grapes did. You're going to get grapes on a vine system, not grapes on a tree. It's, nothing is going to change. What you sow is what you reap. And so, with that being said, let's look at some of the things that people sow out here in the world today. Hatred in your heart for your brother without a cause. Which is a scripture that even says that if you lie on your brother, that a liar hateth those that are afflicted by his tongue. You know, so, I mean, you think about the people who go out there like Emmett Till's, um, the lady that lied on Emmett Till. She lied on him and then got him killed. She hated that man and she also hated her his family too because those are the people that were afflicted by her lying tongue. Their lives were ruined and hurt at the loss of Emmett Till because of her lying tongue and she didn't even care about that. People like that fail to understand is that whatever hole you dig, whatever rock you roll out, for the intention of harming somebody else, it's gonna be the hole that you fall in. It's gonna be the rock that turns around and crushes you. That's how this universe was created to work. The universe was created to maintain a balance. What the Bible refers to as sin causes imbalance in the universe. When sin causes this imbalance in the universe, the universe enacts the law of reaping what you sow to set forth a chain of events that will lead to the sinner receiving his just due payment for all the wrong he has committed. And the sinner, upon reaping what he sows, usually reaps something along the same lines of the crime he committed in the first place. So, basically the punishment fits the crime. So let's look at it like this. You have somebody who's a known psychopathic serial killer he goes around killing people well when it comes time for him to reap what he sows he usually ends up being killed you live by the sword you die by the sword that's your karma you look at somebody who's promiscuous and he goes out there and he fornicates with anything that he sees that looks attractive to him well he might end up getting an std he might end up getting aids and then dying or if he don't get AIDS and die, he might get several women pregnant. Now he got a whole bunch of children that he got to take care of. Karma is coming back and is biting him in the form of child support. He got to take money out of his check. Or the government takes money out of his check to support children that he went off and had being promiscuous. Bottom line... Like I said, the punishment always fits the crime when it comes to dealing with karma and reaping what you sow. It's all part of maintaining the balance that the Most High set for this universe. So, like I said, when you commit a sin, the universe have to right that wrong by either um, punishing you for your crime or putting it on your heart to right the wrong that you've done. If you sin, you pay for it because that's the universe balancing everything back out again. It's kind of like when you take a rock and you throw it in the pond and then you see the ripples that go out. Those ripples spread about until they finally even back out again. So, I got a proposition for y'all. Instead of going out there and doing wrong, knowing that this is how the universe works, the universe that the Most High Yah created was created to maintain balance. So when you do something that causes imbalance in the universe like sin, the universe basically pays you for your crime. And so, since we know this is how the universe works, karma, reaping what you sow, why don't you sow good things into the world? Why don't you sow good vibes and good things into the universe? Do righteousness so that 
the Most High will allow this universe to set forth a chain of events that will lead to you being rewarded for your good deeds.